Hey kids, welcome to uh, Unit 5, Lesson 2, Row Major Traversals, Exercise Number 2. The owner of the Project Mercury Pastries food truck wants to find the total of all desserts available. They have the following values. We have a list of values right there where each row represents a unique food truck in the business. Each column represents the number of cakes, cookies, and pies. We're going to write the method total inventory to find the sum of all the values in the inventories array. And then in my console, we're going to call the total inventory method and print the results. I have a little hint after that. In my console, they already brought the data over for us. Instantiating a new object food truck. It's from the owner class. It's passing along this 2D array. Under the owner class, we have our 2D array, our constructor that takes that array, and a place for us to write total inventory. For this lesson, we're essentially doing what we did last lesson. We're creating a nested for statement. We're looking through the rows and columns, and then we're going to take the sum at each individual element. How are we going to do that? First thing we need to do is figure out what we're going to return. These are all integers, so it's going to be an int. We'll just call it sum, and it'll be equal to zero. If that's what we want to return, we have to tell our method that, so we want to return sum. Now we have to go through our rows and columns. Let's do our row or outer loop first. This is going to be our outer four. And inside here, we wanna go through the row. We're just gonna set the row equal to zero like we always have. And as long as the row is less than our inventory's length, we want to progress through our array. That is our outer. Now we need to do our inner. Do some curly cues. This is our inner four. And this time we just want to go through the columns. So we're going to do int column. Oh, that's going to be equal to zero. And as long as column is less than the inventories. We don't want to go through the length of the array. We want to go through one of the rows in the array. How do we access a row in a 1D array? We use one square bracket. Doesn't matter which row we go through. In CSA, they should all be the same. And as long as we are less than that length, we want to go through our array. As we progress through, every time we go through, we just want to add to that sum. What do you want to add? Our inventories at whatever row and column we're at. And we're just going to put row and column. So whatever number we're there respectively will be added to our sum. Clean up our code. We're not done yet. We have to go over to my console and call our total inventory. Let's go to my console. And down here, we're going to have to do a print statement. So system dot out dot print ln. And we're going to say total inventory. And we'll do plus food truck total inventory. And we have to call the method. Check our spelling. We should probably check it over here too with inventories. That looks like it's actually all spelled right. When I hit run, my method should go through each one of these and add to them, and I should come up with a total down here. Let's go ahead and hit run and see what we get. 239. That seems like a pretty reasonable number. Let me take my calculator out here real quick. That, that seems to add up. Key takeaway from this lesson is further reinforcing 
how we progress through a 2D array. Again, this is a row major traversal. There is a column major traversal. And how this works is our outer loop runs once, and then our inner loop runs for its entire length. Once it's done, it moves back to the outer loop, we run runs, and the inner loop runs again for its entire length. Rinse and repeat. This again is a very fundamental skill in the CSA class. Remember, our fourth question on the CSA exam is a 2D array. So you're going to have to demonstrate this knowledge on the exam in May. Hopefully this video helped you understand row major traversals a little better. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye. Bye.